breathing spaces are empty, not, not really empty, but more open places. Um, like in this painting right here, this is, I feel like it has a lot of activity going on. I really like all the little the details and the, the energy. And then there's some more open breathing spaces where it's not as busy. It, it creates just the right kind of tension on the canvas. It reminds me of um, being on a stage and choreographing something where you have areas where it's quiet and areas where it's busy and then something to draw your attention and uh, it's the composition. And while I'm working, I'm always looking for uh, the composition, trying to find what works. When I'm painting with color, sort of like doing a dance, I feel like it's sort of, um, I like to, to move the color around and, um, and have areas of breathing spaces and then areas of activity in, in, in other places. I'm inspired by certain painters and certain certain works of art, but the ideas actually come out of the painting as I'm working. And I find it, wor it works better for me if I, if I just start painting and letting the process evolve, and then the ideas start to come from that. Um, in Path, I started making lines. I, I put all this color, I really enjoyed the color, and then I started adding some lines to it. And I was really frustrated. I didn't know what was going on with the paintings. And I just started putting the paint on. All of a sudden, um, this sort of figure started emerging. It felt like there was almost a person walking in the background. And then there was this big footprint that happened. And in the middle of the painting, it started to look like a big footprint to me. And so it felt like somebody was finding their way through the forest, trying to find their, their path through the forest. I'm also interested in universal images and, and uh, issue of people trying to find their way in the world. And I think that's partly what I'm doing in my painting, is trying to find my way through the painting. And it's in the same line as people trying to find their, what they're meant to do and, and how, how they're supposed to go about living their lives. And to me, doing that in an abstract way can ex expresses it more than trying to make a, a real picture of that. Being human, is, it's a very subjective experience, obviously, and to me, abstract painting is more subjective. When I try to make something realistic, it, um, I feel like there's layers and layers of truth that are, that are not being expressed, because things aren't really as you see them. I'm a part of the Fall Foliage Art Studio Tour, which I have been for a couple of years. This is my third year, and um, this year, it happens, to, Columbus Day happens to fall on uh, the Jewish holiday of Yom Kippur, so my studio will not be open on Saturday of, that, of this year, but it will be open on Sunday.